Good morning. Today is Monday the 8th of February. Bill Bryson is a prolific author. The first book of his I read was Notes from a Small Country. And this is the musings of an American living in the UK. And I remember laughing out loud at several of his observations. Since then I've read many of them and at the moment I'm reading another one. How to make a human. He has a knack of presenting hundreds of complicated facts in a way that is easily digested, if not remembered. And reading this book I'm struck again at what a great creator God is. Bill Bryson has worked out that we are a mixture of so many different components it would cost about £100,000 to buy what we needed to make a human and that's not including the cost of labour. An old friend of his, Dr Ben Oliveri, who's a distinguished academic and scientist and surgeon, is fascinated by the human body and in particular the skeleton. He says, most of the best technology that exists on earth is right here inside us. Some of his interesting chapters, like the one entitled Down the Hatch, shouldn't be read while eating a meal. And that's for those of us who live alone and tend to read at table. I'm halfway through the book, it's over 900 pages, and already I am in awe at the complexity of the human body. However, Bill says right at the beginning that however wonderful a human being is, it's all a matter of chance, an accident, albeit a happy one. How he can talk about the miracle of life and not take the leap to believe in a creator God, I don't know. I felt the same way when I read his book, A History of Nearly Everything. He revealed that the universe is so finely tuned, so wonderfully made, that I stood even more in awe of God's creation. How people can think our world and our bodies are merely a fluke of nature, I can't understand. So many of the puzzles he finds in the body become understandable if we put God into the equation. Maybe your body isn't working as well as you hope. Maybe the effects of ageing are taking their toll. Yet, whether we are young or old, whoever we are, the Bible tells us we are God's loving creation. In the words of Psalm 139, we read, You, that's God, created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. We are God's loved creation. It is for you and for me that he died on the cross, that he came to earth to show us just how much he loved us. He came to rescue us from the troubles of this world, from the effects of all that we do that is wrong. And he rose again to give us the assurance of everlasting life. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We praise you that great and mighty creator as you are, you love each one of us with a love that never ends. Grant us a child's wonder at all your creation. Amen. God bless you all.